Hi everybody, uh, I'm back. Three months now into the carnivore diet. Well actually it's just a little bit over. I should have done this video a couple of days ago but um, <laughs> I've been on another of my jollies. This time it was a army reunion. Uh, it's 50 years almost since I joined the army as a young boy at 15. 15 years old, I was just a child. Um, and the UK is one of the few countries in the world that still allow, still allow children to be soldiers. And that's what I did. I went in the army at 15. I met quite a few of my old buddies. What amazes me is they're all old men now. I mean, they're all young lads when I first met them. Uh, and now they're all old farts. Well, apart from me, I'm just a fart. But anyway, that's another story. So anyway, three months. How's three months gone? I have lost a total of 40 pounds and in kilograms that is, let me just have a look, that's roughly 18 kilograms. I've lost a grand total of 13% of my body weight in three months. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's very good, I can't complain at that at all, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very very happy. Now, obviously, the um, the weight loss has started to slow down a little bit now. Now I've lost 40 pounds. I, I can't expect to be losing weight at the same rate as I did when I first started. Um, but it's still coming off. I've probably lost about nine pound or so this month, which is not too bad at all. Uh, not shabby, not shabby. I'm quite happy at that. Uh, what are my targets? Right, I... For Christmas, I mean, it's the coming up to the end of October now. Uh, bonkers, stop it, stupid cat. Um, that's why I call him bonkers because he's bloody bonkers. Um, anyway, as I was saying, by Christmas, I'd like to lose another 15. Yeah, 15 pounds. I can't see me losing more than that. Anywhere between 10 and 15 pound by Christmas, I'd be happy with. Um, by April time, uh, May time, I want to have lost another 40 pounds. My target or my aim is I want to start parachuting again next year. Uh, it's a long time since I've done any. And at the moment, I'm too heavy to go parachuting. So I want to get my weight down and start parachuting again. Uh, I've received one or two objections from various people that know me, my so-called loved ones say you are not going and I say oh what like I'm not going to go over dreadlocks when you told me I couldn't, we'll see. So um, yeah I don't think they've got much chance of stopping me from going. But anyway that's my aim, I want to lose another £40 pound, um, for May time. And that will give me a chance to get all my parachute training done through the next summer. And, uh, and I'll be happy at that. As for the diet, I'm still intermittent fasting every other weekend. I, uh, I, I try doing every weekend from like 5 o'clock on a Friday till 5 o'clock on a, uh, a Sunday. Not intermittent fasting, sorry. A 48 hour fast. Um, from five o'clock on a, a, a Friday till five o'clock on a Sunday and I can do it one week but the second week tends to be a bit difficult I don't know why um, so I'm doing it every other week at the moment and that gives me a great boost in the weight loss I'm still on the uh, one meal a day I have a very small feeding window of a couple of hours so that's obviously helping Excuse me, coffee shouting me. There we go. A mug from Lanzarote. One of my days. One of my little jollies again. <sighs> Can't beat it. So, anyway. Um, and the other thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start hiking again. I'll start doing a lot of walking. Um... I've done my waterproof boots out, I've got my um, 
Gore-Tex ex-army waterproof jacket. Didn't have them in the army when I was in, but I've got a friend who supplied me with one. Um, I've got a day sack, army day sack. Um, there's a rucksack so I can use that. I've got my cooking gear. I've dug all my cooking gear out so I can make a brew. And if I go out on a long walk, I can take a bit of meat and chuck it in the frying pan and cook it while I'm out. So uh, I'm fully equipped. I'll not be doing any nights out, I can't imagine, not at the moment. But uh, I'm going to go out and I'll start gentle, you know, five or six miles with a rucksack on, probably 10 kilos. And then build it up from there. Anybody want a stupid cat? Bonkers. What are you doing? That's a nice picture. Cat's bum in my ear. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start hiking again. That's my aim. And uh, once I've got my hiking sorted, um, I'm going to be doing this. Or once I've got all my gear packed up, I'm going to start doing that this week. I will do a couple of videos while I'm out and about walking show you some of the beautiful scenery around here. I'm going to be uh, hiking during my like I'm a footpath. I'm going to be hiking during my intermittent fasting so I'll uh, I'll eat on an evening probably about five in an evening and then go out the following morning and walk hopefully most of the day and not eat anything until I come in on an evening, so um, I'm walking in a fasted state, which is going to help pull some more weight off me. I really want to hit this target of another forty pounds off, so that uh, I can go jump out of an airplane like a lunatic. Uh, before I go, I'll just um, I'll show you a couple of photographs of what I look like now, uh, and you can compare it to what I look like before I started this carnivore journey. And you'll see there's quite a bit of difference. Uh, you can see I've lost a hell of a lot of weight. You can see where the £40 disappeared from. It's a bit like my money. It just keeps disappearing. <laughs> anyway, here are the photos. And uh, I'll let you be the judge. So here's the view from the front. And the view from the side. In fact, tell you what. There you go. You've got a photo of me in my grollies. So that's from the front. That's Luna. And that's from the side. So you can see I've lost a colossal amount of weight compared to the photo at the side of me. I don't think the side is going to be on, but anyway. So as you can see, I've lost a lot of weight. Let me put my t-shirt back on before I make you poorly now. <laughs> and there you go. So, hopefully, like I say, another £40 jumping out of that aeroplane. Woohoo! Anyway, that's about it for today. Um, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. You can do that down there. Please, <laughs> please subscribe down there. I'm going to learn to talk one day. You'd think at 65 I'd be able to open my mouth and words come out in a, you know, Oh, this is Luna, by the way. Come here, Luna. Come on. Come here. Oh, she don't want to come. She wants to talk to me. It's my German Shepherd. She's going to be. Uh, she's going to be coming with me on these walks. How you do? Yeah. Erwin Luna. Erwin. Uh, <laughs> Luna. Erwin Bonkers are the best of friends. They chase each other around the house. Here comes Bonkers now after you. Luna's tail. Um. So. Luna's going to be coming with me on the walk. She can do us both a world of good. And uh, 
or keep each other company. So anyway, like I say, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up down there. Please subscribe down there. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. And hopefully there'll be a little less of me by then. Bye everybody. See you soon.